All right, so when it comes to dinosaurs, people, especially children, have a whole lot of questions like, how big were they, or what do they eat, or where do they live? Dinosaurs are very popular yes. in my house. So there's a new exhibit at Cranbrook that actually answers a lot of those questions in a very dramatic way. But as Tim Pamplin shows us, it's also answering some questions that most people may never even think to ask. We are making our way inside Cranbrook Institute of Science, this fully interactive, immersive dino exhibition, fresh from Chicago, with the world's largest and most complete T-Rex skeleton. Just take a look. You really didn't want to mess with them when they were hungry. Yeah, the T-Rex, one of the apex dinosaurs, roamed these lands millions of years ago. And this skeleton is the best I've ever seen. The exhibit has a bunch of interactive components. My personal favorite being, you can actually smell what we think T-Rex's uh, breath smelled like. And let me tell you, it's as bad as you might imagine it. Yes, it was a brutal time back in the day. Looks like dinner time here for this T-Rex. Another interesting aspect are these mysterious holes that we can see on the skull of Sue, which scientists are currently trying to figure out exactly how these arose in the first place, possibly being the result of some infection that Sue had during its life. There's even the opportunity to feel what a dinosaur felt like. Again, as a paleontologist said, you can even smell the breath of a dinosaur. Not that appealing. And they even have fragments of real dinosaur eggs. You don't see those every day. If you're more into Team Triceratops, well, they've got you covered. That Sue may have gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with, and it was nothing to be messed with, as you might be able to see from these ferocious horns. So again, Sue, the T-Rex exhibit, opens this weekend at Cranbrook Institute of Science in Cranbrook today. Tim Pamplin, Local 4. That's cool. It is very cool. And Your you know, littles what? would like that. They would love it. And I have two little guys who are obsessed with I dinosaurs. I think we're going to have to go check it out. I think so.